This problem asks us two things. First, it asks us to predict the products of this acid-base equilibrium reaction, and next, it asks us to determine which side is going to be favored in this equilibrium. We'll start with the first one, of course. This is obviously an acid-base equilibrium. We have to determine who of these two species is going to give up a proton and who's going to take a proton. Uh, okay, well, let's look at this one. Does this thing look like it's going to want to give up a proton? If it gave up this proton, it would now become an S2 minus. Does that seem like that's going to be going in a favorable direction? See, I kind of don't think so. This species, however, is uh, called acetic acid, incidentally. It looks a lot more ready to give up a proton, specifically that proton right there. If that hydrogen were removed and donated to this thing, it would form these things to the right. Now remember, when I remove a hydrogen from an acid, I have to replace it with a negative charge in the conjugate base. This thing steals this hydrogen, which basically takes the place of that negative charge. So we can write HSH if you want, or you could simplify that as just being H2S. This is the sulfur version of water, which probably smells slightly worse. So these are the products of the equilibrium reaction. The next thing we need to do is determine which thing is the acid, which one's the base, what's the conjugate acid, and what's the conjugate base. As I talked about in an earlier video, the acid is the thing on the left side of the equation that gives up a hydrogen as you move to the right. Which of these two things gave up a hydrogen as it went over to the right? Yeah, it's this thing. So this molecule is the acid. Which of the two things on the left side of the equation accepted that hydrogen or stole this hydrogen? It's this guy right here. That's the base. The thing that this acid turns into over here is its conjugate base. And the thing that this base turns into is its conjugate acid. So I'll just abbreviate that as conj acid. The next part of this problem asks us to determine which side of the equilibrium will be favored. Remember, the equilibrium side that's favored is always going to be the side that has the weakest acid. So what acids do I have? Well, I've got this one right here, acetic acid, and I've got this one over here, H2S. Which of those two acids is going to be the weaker of the two acids? Whichever one is the weaker acid, that means it's the stabler acid, so that side is going to be favored. How do we determine that? Well, for right now, what we're going to do is look at the table that I'm going to show right here. As you examine this table, you'll notice that on the left-hand side, it shows acetic acid, CH3COOH, kind of right there in the middle. It shows H2S somewhere a little bit below it. You'll also notice that it has an arrow saying that acid strength increases as you go up. That means that acetic acid, CH3COOH, is a stronger acid than H2S. Let's take this back to the board and write that down then. So acetic acid is my stronger of these two acids. H2S is the weaker of the, these two acids. Remember that equilibrium is always going to want to favor the side where you have less reactive, weaker stuff. So the side of the reaction that's going to be favored is going to be the right-hand side. 